free fly tying instruction class, we are going to teach you how to tie the blue winged olive nymph on a size 16, which is a pretty small hook, I understand, but it's not too hard. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more of our videos, which we make every Tuesday and Friday, you can watch our videos by going to this channel and subscribe, and always remember, you can donate by clicking the I button in our videos up here to Trout Unlimited. And we will also enter information about our contest right up in here. So when you subscribe, you can enter our contest. So please subscribe to watch more of our videos. And like always, thank you for watching. Thank you. Okay, I started from the eyelet and then went all the way back with the thread to the, where the tail starts and had cemented it. That's how you start I start every fly. And uh, first thing we're going to tie in is our tail, which is wood ducks. You measure your tail. It's no long length of, no longer than the length of the hook. Just two or a couple of little tight turns. And the tail goes back. I always go up to the front. I leave a lot of this material on the build bulk. Now, if you don't have a, a really thin line, if your string seems like it's really bulky. I wouldn't uh, put too many turns to thread on here. I went to sell of string was must have been bought. I think I bought just for these because it's so thin. And you uh I take your piece of uh, rib will be a piece of brown any kind of brown tying yarn you have, thread you have will work just tie that on okay I got that much done I'd like to put like just a little Drop of head cement. I like to fly last longer. Maybe until that dries. And since this side this flies on a size 16, you want to be really careful about the thread we use, how much dubbing we use. You know what this fly look all pregnant and fat. So once we got that dries, we just start. Take your thread I think I cut a little too much off, but it'll be fine. Just and make your wraps as easily as possible. So it looks like a ribbing of a fly. You get to that point. Right off. And at this point, we want to tie in your 
goose and a duck wing. I want to lay flat. Want that to lay flat. on top. Okay. I'm going to come on with some dubbing. Make a big bulk. I'm going to go up and pull this back. We'll go in here with the partridge. Partridge leg. So we got hold of the opposite side away from you first. You have all this all that material. You want to clip it off. Without clipping your thread off. I need to turn it back. Again, you want that to kind of lay on your top. Just gonna tighten it down. Clip it off. Now you got your legs, your tail, your abdomen, your ribbing. And I think you're about ready to wrap this bad puppy up and put her head on her. So whip finish a couple of wraps. to push back on this. Clear the eyelid a little bit and get your thread wrapped right behind it. And that should give you a finish. I have a mistake here, my whip finder sure is. I had to go rewrap it, but then whip finish right. I'm going to take your head cement. Now, this one I can't hook the. So make sure you push that. Ooh. Make sure you push that away from the eyelet. In a second, you know, I'll show you that. And there you have it. You have a whip uh, finished blue winged olive, size 16. See, there's the wings, tail. The body. You see the rib in it. 
need to kill a little freaking fly, these little blue winged hollows. As a matter of fact, I'm going to sit here and tie me about, oof, I don't know, five or six of these for the box. Tie yourself some of these up. Can we fly? Get tied up and get out there in the creek. See you in the water.